So as you can see, I've cut that bit of plasterboard back. Um, as I said, I'm suffering from FDB today, and one of the symptoms of that is a lack of concentration. As you can see, I actually mistakenly marked out a full 90 mil from the face of this trimmer to where I was going to cut, and obviously it's not the 90 the New one is 90 mil at that point because we've cut that housing out, so it's only 55. But fortunately, I stopped myself before I got all the way through. We've got about 25 mil from the face of this block work to the face of this um, plasterboard here. And although I'm going to leave the string a couple of mil off the wall for skimming, um, we actually need the distance is actually close to 30. So rather than chip away at that brickwork and block work, because that's a bearing point, what I'm going to do is probably just cut maybe two or three mil off the outside face up to, you know as long as i keep it below the floor level there cut maybe two or three mil off there and that'll allow that to slide straight back against the wall so nearly there so i've just laid the stairs over and you can see more what i'm talking about um we need we need 30 mil between this the outside or the the outside edge of the string here that's going to hit this wall here we need 30 mil we've only got about 25 up there so i'm just going to ease off two or three mil down here, and that allow that to slide tight to the wall. So I think I'll put this up on its end and probably just run a series of passes with my saw through there, chisel that off and uh, give it a go, see if we can get it in. Right, everything's cut. Um, we're gonna go for a lift, see how we get on. Hopefully it'll go in first time, we won't have to have it back out, it's quite heavy. Um, so I've got someone to come with me a hand, I'll just move this ladder and See how we get on, I've cut a prop. I've done some measurements, I've cut a prop here which should go under the bottom once we get it in, so yeah. Let's go for it. Um, I wonder if that's gonna be too heavy, isn't it? Um. Do you think we should get someone with his hand? Maybe Adrian. Where's Adrian, up in the roof? Is Adrian in the roof? Adrian in the roof, yeah. Can you give us a lift, Adrian, for a second? Thanks, mate. If me and Bill go this end, you can just hold it here. You just, you can just sort of hold it here. Yeah. And there's a prop. There. Watch there's camera. Yeah. Yeah. So if what we'll do, Bill, is we'll basically have I'll, uh, Bill, I'll go slightly above you, go slightly below me. Yeah. Yep. So if we get it flat to start with, just mind that bit. That's the outside face. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do, Bill, is we lift it up, I'll go above, you go below, yep. and then you can just sort of here, Adrian. Yeah. It shouldn't be, you shouldn't be too heavy. All right, Bill? Yeah. Go on up, up you go, mate. You need to come around to the wall. Hang on, Bill, hang on. You're in the way, down. Yeah, we're on the side, mate. That's okay. You got it? No. Lovely, right? Yep. Beautiful. I thought my head was going to get chopped off then. Yeah. Right, if we lift this up. Beautiful. Right. Okay. okay. Don't climb up them just yet. Yeah. So if you can just, would you just mind just steadying them there, Bill? Yeah. Well, so as, long as, they, as long as they go this way. Uh, uh, thanks, Bill. Right, I'll just stick a block on there. Hang on, hang on, mate. If I stick a block on there, that won't, that can't come off there. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know where that is. Lovely, right, thank you. Woo! I'll get by with a little help from my friends. That's the sparky, that is the top man. Right, so as you can see there, stairs are in. Really happy with that. Slotted in nicely, as you can see. These newels are now sort of hooked over the trimmer there, you see, so it gets a really strong, um, you know, bearing down onto that trimmer there. So that's that. Um, as I said, I've cut a temporary prop down here. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, you can sort of put a level on the treads here to make sure it's in the right height, but what I do, is uh, because this has all been CNC machined, um, I, what I'll do is some calculations based on the rise, and that'll get me an exact measurement down to the, I think this is the ninth, so I've gone 
here we look, I've got nine rises from the top to this point here. So nine rises times the rise at 192.9 equals 1736. So all I'll do now is put a level mark from the top, um, from the floor level, which is the top, uh, top tread there, put a level mark across, measure down 1736 millimeters until it hits this point. Now I know that they'll be exactly level. Um, I do keep my eye on things like the plumb, the plumbness of these uh, shoulders here on the strings, but basically if the maths is right, according to those rises, it sort of can't be wrong. So I'll do that now so these are in the right place and then what we can start to do is start to build up this bottom section and put these uh, where it starts to turn and come down. So uh, yeah, happy with that. That's the bulk of that done. Bit, as I said, bit first day back today, so a little bit fuzzy headed, but you know, taking it steady so I don't make any mistakes. So as I said, I've now measured it exactly, uh, whatever I said there, 1736. It now measures from this tread here to a level line I've put just up there, if you can maybe see. So we know that's exactly right. So when I put the level across here, you can see that reads right. And what I've also done is uh, put a small prop in this end to level that across so that reads right as well. Um, but that's actually a tiny bit out, but that's got a slight bow on it, look. Uh, this tread's got a slight bow on it. Uh, also, we'll just keep an eye on double checking the shoulder of the uh, string there. And we can see, look, that's, uh, Again, maybe just a tiny little bit, but um, we can adjust that, like I said. So uh, that's all great. What I'm going to do now is uh, we're going to start working on this next newel here so we can cut that down. We're going to put some DPC around the bottom. Uh, we can cut that. We'll take a measurement from the top of this tread here down to the floor and we'll transfer that onto that newel, get that one cut in. Uh, and then uh, there's also a half newel to go on the back here. And what we can do is start to form, get these kites in and start to bring the stairs uh, back this way. And then I think there's a double ball nose on the bottom. So yeah, looking good so far. It's lipped on the top, like I said, I haven't put any fixings in it. Um, and I've just put this tab on the bottom here because as long as the stairs doesn't slip this way, it can't fall out. So I'm happy with that, but obviously no one's gonna be using it just yet. So as I said, I've cut this newel to length now. I just took the measurement from this uh, tread here down to the bottom. That's gone in nice. And one thing I mustn't forget to do when I put this one in is uh, I've marked through these holes as well to drill that, the tenon. Uh, mustn't forget to also put that bit of hand rail on because that's easier to put it on now than it is to put it on afterwards. Uh, I've set a level up over here. Nice big bit of steel for that to magnetize to. Um, I've set a level up to this is the, the top of the first tread. It's a bull nose and basically, um, thrown that line across and I've marked um, and been able to take a measurement from this line here down and cut this newel as well. Uh, this setup is all just mocked in here, it's not quite long enough, doesn't matter because I'm going to fix that to the wall. Um, so yeah, it's all, that's just got to come up slightly so it's all looking like it's going to fit quite nicely. I've just got to work out my order so I think it's going to be this, this newel in first and that handrail. Then I think I'm probably going to put, fix this half newel into here through the face on the inside here which we won't see then i'll put uh, got to be careful don't um, make it difficult to get my kite winders in then i think i'll put this kite winder in and then this kite winder in this step and then i'll probably put this string on the end of those and then hopefully this bottom kite should slide in from the bottom and the ball nose goes on the front so yeah uh, looking good it's all looking good now so sort of not that much more work to get that so we can have its first maiden voyage when I can run up and down it. Right, I've got everything ready. Uh, I, you didn't see, I did it just because I was in a hurry, didn't do it on the camera. I've uh, drilled out the, the tenons for the handrail um, and I've drilled out the tenons for that double you know, on the bottom there. So what I'm gonna do now is larrip it all up in glue. I've got to be quite quick actually because otherwise we'll get glue everywhere. So I'm gonna try and glue the top, glue the bottom, get this bottom newel and get all the dowels knocked in and then we can have a clean up. So let's get on with that. Right, I've got to carefully dance up that stairs. Uh, so I'll be very careful here, shouldn't fall out. Right, here we go. Sponge there. That. 
gently, gently. Right, I just got the handrail in that newel in there. I don't know if, how much of it you saw because the memory card beeped and said it was full. So what I'm going to do, I've just had a little mess around and I think I'm going to put this kite winder in here, fix this half newel on the, on the end of here. And then what I've decided to do with this short uh, string section here is fix both of these kite winders into it and then basically slot the whole thing uh, on that end because there's quite a big, if I just show you here, there's quite a big tongue on the end of this um, on the end of this tread here, which has got to go into this housing here, and I won't be able to get it in. So I think that's going to work and should hold it all nice and solid. Like I said, slide the whole thing in, hopefully put some glue on it and get it, um, get it fixed in place. Right, so I'm just going to glue these up, put these uh, kite winder treads in here, put the wedges in which I've cut, um, yeah, and then we can get that section in. Absolutely rock solid. Same with this one. Right, let's get that lifted in. Got to go for the whole thing now. Glue the whole lot up. Woo! And row of a newel. It's all going to work. Just sort of trying to keep ahead of the glue going off too much now. Right, here we go. Those faces. 
Whew. God, imagine this PU glue, you're getting all over the place. Right, here we go. That can, that can stick there. This can go up here. So that's all in now, so it's just a case of sort of putting some dowels in here and a few screws and bringing the whole thing together. Excellent. Right. I think I'll get a screw in that end. Some 50s for that. Before I put too many screws and packers and fixings in, I just need to keep an eye on the levels of things to make sure everything's still upright. Love feeling these draw up, absolutely brilliant. Just simple sort of mechanics. You can feel it draw the joint together. Nice. Oh, that's good. starts to tack up quite quickly. Right, that was a bit of a mad, mad moment. Once I sort of commit, you have to get, get on it. So yeah, happy with our all that's gone. I say the biggest issue really is just trying to keep ahead of the glue going, uh, drop, tacking up. So I'm happy there. Um, that's not bad through there. I've got some glue and stuff under there. It doesn't really matter. This is slightly out of upright, so I've got to go over. That's just just opening that joint down there a little bit. So I'm hoping if I just stick that over. Anyway, we can mess about with that. I'll put a, a level on that, plumb that up. This is all not bad. It's gone in there nice and lovely, really tight shoulders. I love having shoulders on strings with tenons. It's uh, you know, it's a lovely tight joint. This is all good here. And um, not 100% happy with it here. Look, there's a bit of a gap there. Now, I don't know whether that's the way that's been put across the tenoner, but what I might do is uh, try and get a stick, uh, a prop through from here to that reveal there and just see if I can close it up a little bit. So, but otherwise, really happy. And that really is the back of it broken now. So, um, all I've got to do is put the ball nose in now and then put all these risers on and pack it off the wall. It's not ideal that it's been, this wall hasn't been skimmed, we know that, but we're gonna pack or pack this off the wall a couple of mil. The plasters are absolutely excellent. By the time they've done, um, they'll make a lovely job around that. Yeah, lovely, just put that little wedge down there, put a bit of DPC, obviously a double layer of DPC to protect the, the, um, the oak post there, but that shut that much better. So hopefully I'll leave that on overnight and that glue will hold that nice and, uh, nice and tight. Brilliant. I've got to get right in and get some screws in behind here, so. I think I might pre-drill those first. Save me a backbreaker down there. Yeah. 
Oui, il y a la petite position. Oh, yes. Just got to bring that forward. So the back of this tread lines up with the back of this housing. Get that right. The wires all running nice, lovely. Then, what we need to check there is just check that it's level this way. Because I don't want that to... Just there. So, fingers crossed. I wonder if I can... Nothing to lay on. It's going to get covered in absolute filth. Oh, nearly 53 years old and I'm rolling around in the dirt here still. Keeping it real. Right, here we go. in time to cut and fix these risers brilliant Whew. right I've cut all my risers simply all I do is measure across the back of the tread um, and I cut my risers I put a little cross on them because then I know the face side is forward and where the cross is is the bit that I should put glue on what I'm going to do now is lay down in there start the bottom and work my way, out, my way out obviously because I don't want to start the top and work my way in because there'll be lots of drips of glue so I'll get all those risers in and then uh, uh, let the glue sort of go off a little bit and then all I've got to do is come back up. I've got a couple of wedges to put, a big long wedge to put up there, maybe try and get a couple of wedges in where the um, risers are, but if not, I can screw those and then just uh, screw and glue these glue box in. So yeah, down in the dirt again for me. Right, this is a complete punt on the camera angle. I don't know if it's gonna work at all, but if it doesn't, I can put end up on the editing room floor. Right. Let's put some glue on here. Up the sides. And then along the top as well. Right. Can get that one in. Should go in. wiggling. Oh, yes. Lovely. The beauty of these rides, I don't know if you can see, is that the perfect width that they drop down on this shoulder here. I don't know if you can see that on these shoulders. So obviously that gives a lot more support to the, not only to the, the tread, that, the back of the tread that's screwing into, but obviously the front of the tread that it's sitting on. So let's get that, get some screws in that. Lovely. Some in the riser on the side. Obviously, careful not to. We need to angle it. And also, the other thing you need to think about if you're doing distance at stairs, sometimes on the front, uh, the section that's left on the newel, depending, you see here, you've got a fair bit of meat, but sometimes it can be quite small, so you have to be aware of that because you don't want to stick a screw out the front. So. Lovely. Another one. Let's see if I can adjust that camera. See if I can get any other angles in there. Try that. All right. Let's get the right way up. Oh, yeah. The dreams. Dream time. Okay. Let's 
should be behind there. Lovely. Okay, last one now. Can we change the angle for that? I don't know. Try it. Yes. Let's have a look there. <laughs> Trying to avoid getting glue all over myself. Right, here we go. Up you go into position. Oh, yes. I think that's good. Get a screw in that. I've got someone ringing me. I don't know who it is. <laughs> I'm not answering it though. Because I'll guarantee if I answer it, it'll go quiet and then cut off, and I'll feel like a mug. Excellent. So I'm going to try and cut a few wedges, and not cut a few. Oh, what we're we doing here? I've got some wedges, and that uh, came in the kit. So I'm going to try and knock a few of those in, and then it's literally pre-screw some of these uh, glue blocks and get all them in, and we're looking really, really good. Just put a couple of supports down on that bull nose to stop that dropping, and uh, yeah, looking good. As I said, this company that make these stairs, they really do make good stairs. I've been fitting their stairs for, oh gosh, I don't, I don't even think, 20, 30 years. And I did do a stint, as I said, fitting some absolutely amazing stairs, part of their specials that they do, bespoke stairs all over the country. Some of them worth, you know, sort of well over 100, 150,000 pounds, so really do enjoy doing stairs, it gets the, gets the brain going. In you go. That is lovely, so just if I can get a few of those wedges in there now. Without sitting in too much glue. Lovely. Beautiful. So uh, I'm just going to put, if I clip it off here, what I'm going to do now is put some uh, bearers, some sort of legs down, screw them through that riser there onto the floor, um, just to support that um, bull nose there. Um, I know I haven't, there's, I haven't put the damp proof membrane underneath this one yet, but I'll, I'll do that when I come to fix, I'll just lift it up slightly. Um, I'll do the same on the front here, so uh, yeah, I'll just do that now. Right, that's it, I'm really happy, that's done. Um, nothing really out of the ordinary, nothing particularly technical. Um, a lot of stairs aren't the same. Um, I had to do a little bit of something different at the top here to get that newel into that wall. Um, but generally, the sort of theory behind stairs is all pretty much the same. As I said before, um, how I always start at the top, you have to start at the top and work your way down. If there's any tolerance or adjustment, it comes on the bottom step. Um, building control do like the bottom step to be within a certain um, measurement of the rest of them but you certainly can't adjust the uh, the top step because it goes to a definitive point which is the finish floor at the top so all I've got to do on this now is fix it back to the wall which I shall do through the bottom here I should just put some probably uh, 120 m timber 120 nylon type frame fisher fixing down through there um, gonna pack it I have I'm not at the minute I'm not gonna do it at the minute but obviously I've wedged this back just to close up this uh, this joint here, but what I'm going to do is, I said, sorry for repeating myself, I'm just going to pack this newel off, off the wall a couple of mils so they can get uh, the skimming behind it. But yeah, really happy, everything's done, bull nose is on. I'll say I will just, um, once I've taken this prop out tomorrow, I'll just put the DPM underneath there. It's all looking good, I suspect this will be, we'll box this in under here. Um, we won't box it in under here because obviously as you see here, look, this is a sort of entrance way. So we'll, we'll probably put a little cupboard under there, this will be, Plaster boarded in. Uh, let's have a quick look up there. Do, let's, do, let, let's go maiden voyage up the, up the stairs. I always like this. Look at that, lovely. Nice and solid. Got all these handrails in nice. Look, the joints are nice and tight. It'd be really difficult to put these handrails in afterwards, especially because I've got tenons on them. Uh, this is all looking good up here. What I've done is fixed it down through, through this nosing, down into the trimmer in three places, but technically it kind of can't go anywhere as long as that stays hooked onto that trimmer. 
Uh, these top joints are all nice. Uh, dowels are knocked back in. We've got some pellets that we put over there. So yeah, um, as we come up here, you'll see that's uh, lovely. Really happy with that. So I think as I explained in uh, the video where I talked about this bulkhead, uh, there'll be a small return along here and that'll just, all I'll do is cut that plasterboard back once it's plastered and put a capping on there. Same on this side, there's another mule to go in here. There'll be a tiny bit of apron here and then we'll plasterboard up again. We'll follow the, the plasterboard come up round here and up in, into the bottom of that capping. And what I'll do here, and I'll show you when I do it, I don't cut these half mules down over because then you'd have this weird, and um, you'd see the back of it and it all look a bit disjointed. What I, ended, what I do is, is I, I have my floor capping that comes along here and then I sit the newel slightly back uh, from it. You'll see when I do it, but it makes a much neater job and that'll look nice and neat and tight from the top here. Anyway, that is really, really good. I'm happy with how that went. Um, yeah, a good day's work. I started a bit late this morning, so I've had to stay a little bit late just to get it finished. So I hope, uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed that video and followed me how I do it. That's how I fit those stairs there. But let's go here, look. Um, pretty straightforward as I'm, as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the company that makes these does a good job. They've got a drawing that you can follow. Everything's accurate on it. So I'll be doing a separate video on the second fix where I'll show you these, uh, these nosing details and everything. But as, as far as this video goes, this is the first fix of these stairs. So there you go. I hope I've made a reasonable job of this video. As I said earlier, I was suffering or I have been suffering with FDB syndrome, first day back syndrome, and hopefully uh, it won't get any worse because it can develop if it's left unchecked into FWB syndrome, and that can last up to five days longer. So uh, that's the first fix of this stairs done. I hope you uh, followed it and found it interesting. Thanks for watching.